than two weeks out now from the 34th annual Vermont City Marathon. We've talked with organizers, local businesses, and excitement is building across the board. But there's one group we want to highlight that's a crucial part of the race. NBC 5's Adrian Pastor has more. In the final weeks leading up to race day, organizers say that they're working around the clock, but of course they can't do it without a team of volunteers to help them along the way. Before and after the Vermont City Marathon, you can expect to see thousands of people making their way to the Queen City. Whether you're lacing up your shoes to hit the course or simply cheer runners on, there are hundreds of people working behind the scenes to make sure the event runs smoothly. Vermont City Marathon does not exist if we don't have, you know, seven to 750 people that donate their time and want to be a part of this. In past years, Joe Connolly remembers having upwards of 1,800 volunteers pitching in. That experience is something he knows well. I started volunteering and uh, joined the staff um, as a uh, uh, seasonal and then part time and then full time. Over the last month, Run Vermont has been busy recruiting volunteers for several of the jobs needed to pull the marathon together. Some returning and some joining for the first time. Couldn't do it without them, uh, no question about it. And while volunteers play a huge role, the marathon wouldn't be what it is today without the faces on the sidelines. I'm not running the marathon this year due to some injuries, but I'll definitely be out here with my friends and my neighbors cheering on all the runners and, and inspiring them because they inspire me. I just think it's a really awesome, fun city event, and I uh, wish the runners well and good luck. Yeah. And if you can't make it out, not to worry. NBC5 will be your home for the Vermont City Marathon this year with live coverage both on air and online starting at 6 a.m. on race day, which is Sunday, May 28th. In Burlington, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News. Well, you might see.